Welcome back to the channel guys and today we have the Ford Shelby GT 350R. So as you can see here guys we have the 350R in Oxford white right so we're going to open up this box and show you all the details of this 118 scale model. So let's pull this out so you guys can see exactly how it comes from the factory. So we're going to pull this baby out of here you know Let's see what we have in the box. We have some instructions for the removal of the screws and the washers here, right? We also have the auto arts key here. So let me pull this up for you guys and reveal this GT 350R. And here we have it guys, the GT 350R in all its glory right so i'm gonna take off all the screws and everything so you guys can get a real view of what this car really looks like and as you can see here they have the screws on the bottom so you just have to take out these screws be careful guys because you don't want to damage your car so let me get it off and show you guys what this car has to offer and all its details so here we have it guys the gt 350r in all its glory so Let's see what this car has to offer with the details here from this 118 scale model from Auto Art, right? As we can see it here, this car has blue stripes coming down the center of the car. This car reminds me of the 2020 GT350R Heritage Edition, right? And I'm gonna show you guys what this, that car looks like right here. If you guys can see here, that car, and this model car is so similar, but the only difference between the Heritage and this GT350R is that the Heritage Edition doesn't have these red pinstripes going down the middle. It just has the blue stripes going down the middle here, right? And this GT350R is an Oxford white but the Heritage Edition is in Wilberden White. So that's some differences between the Heritage Edition and this GT350R. And one of the other difference you're gonna see is that on the Heritage Edition, it doesn't have a red emblem right here with the, the Cobra. It has a blue emblem on the Heritage Edition and it, the emblem on the, on the back is also blue here on the heritage heritage edition so those are some differences between that car so let's get down to all the other um specs about this car guys so one other fact about the gt 350r guys is that on the gt 350r the wheels are 13 pounds lighter than the standard gt 350 so in in total that would be like 52 pounds weight savings because in reality the gt 350r is about 98 pounds lighter than the regular gt 350 right so one other thing you guys got to know about the the real gt 350 is that this car can actually do 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds right and it does the quarter mile in 12.1 seconds compared to the standard gt350 where it does 12.4 but as you know if you're driving this thing on the street you're not really going to know that uh notice it but if you're on a drag strip and you like your times and you like you know you're going to want the r because it's faster so the curb weight of the real gt 350r guys is about 3,662 pounds, right? Compared to the standard GT350, where it is 3,760 pounds, right? So like I said before, guys, the difference between the weights between the regular GT350 and the R is about 98 pounds. So here we have the engine of this 118 skill car, guys, from Auto Art. 
And this engine is a 5.2 liter Voodoo engine. This car produces like 526 horses at 7,500 RPMs. But this car in real life, guys, it really revs out to 8,250 RPMs. And just thinking about that, guys, as a 2002 Camaro SS owner, guys, which that car revs out to like 6,000 RPMs. I can't even imagine revving out this car to 8,000, you know, 8,200 RPMs on this GT350R. You know, this engine is no joke. On the real GT350R, it comes with carbon fiber wheels right here. And the fronts come with 1911 wide wheels in the front fitted with a 305 tire. And on the back, they have 1911 and a half wide wheels with a 315 tire as it should be. So you know this car could put that power to the floor, right? So on the standard GT350, the front wheels are 19... 10 and a half in the front, which comes with a 295 tire. And the rear wheels are 1911s with a 305 tire. So like I said before, guys, this is the R. So you know we're coming with the 315s in the back and the 305s in the front. What I really like about this car is that with this Auto Art 118 scale model of the GT350R, it's very realistic in here. Uh, you can see all the attention to detail with the shift knob over there, guys. You can see the steering wheel. You can see that they have carpet with an actual carpet over there. You can see the actual GT350 badging on the door sills over here. One thing that impressed me with this 118 scale model from Auto Art, guys, is that they really went the extra mile and they put the name of the manufacturer on the tires, right? The real GT350Rs, they came with Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires in, in the front and the back. So I gotta give it to Auto Art on that one for, you know, putting the attention to detail with this 118 scale model.
know guys although this car is not a heritage edition package of the 350r you know if you guys really wanted to get that uh heritage package it would cost you like one thousand nine hundred and sixty five dollars additional to get that spec right but you know what's funny and i figured it out why they they charge a one thousand nine hundred and sixty five dollars for that spec is because of this the first ford shelby gt 350r was made in 1965 so i understand exactly why they put the price point for the heritage edition package at $1,965. So if you guys want to take a look at the bottom of this car and how well built this car is, guys, you guys can see it here. You can see all the suspension over here. You can see how well the suspension is built and how it moves. You can see the transmission over here. You can see the exhaust. You can see where it says from auto art and over here you can see where it says 118 scale shelby gt 350r mustang right and you can see the bottom of this car for all you guys who want to see that so really on the G the real gt 350r guys you're gonna have a gearing and you can see it over here you can actually see that where the differential is right here you're gonna have 373 gears inside here which it shouldn't be that bad on the highway because the specs on this car is like 21 miles to the gallon on the highway with this engine producing 526 horses, right? So with the specs, is it said that combined with city and highway is like 16. In the city, you're going to get 14 miles per gallon, right? And as, as I said before, you're going to get 21 miles on the highway with the real gt 350r right so you're, you're not expecting this car to be a prius this is that's not exactly what this car is so if you guys are not subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit that notification button so you guys wouldn't miss any content coming out of this channel and on that note guys see you on the next one